Let's get ready for contestant number three. Hello there, would you stand on that yellow X for me? Would you go ahead and stand on that yellow X? Would you please share your name, your age, and what you do? Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine. I'm 26 years old and I work for a union. Amazing, okay. Would you share this? What makes you a real one, Jasmine? What makes you the real MVP? I guess that, uh, you know, I'm just authentically myself and I don't really care what people think, um, even if that means like being weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Okay. I don't see any red flags thrown yet. That's a good sign, by the way. Uh, what are three red flags that you have when it comes to a relationship? If your partner, if someone you're talking to does these things, it's a no go. Um, so if he doesn't want me like doing my makeup or getting dressed up or hanging out with my friends to me that's like a red flag because why do you want to keep me as your prisoner you know so those are some of my red flags okay do you have any others that you want to share or that's like the main one you want to go out and turn up um i guess like those are my main ones okay all right let's go for one more question before we uh maybe turn it to the guys to ask you a question what are you looking for in a man what are you looking for that really d draws you near to the one you want? I like, um, I want someone who's like a gentleman and who really just allows me to rest in my feminine energy and likes to go out and have fun. I like going to rooftops. I like going to the beach. I'm all about, you know, spas. That's what I like. Okay. We did have one uh, real one. Get a red flag. Would you share your name, your age, and why you're waving? My name's Sean Paul. I'm an actor and a producer. I'm 35. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm not that big of a partier anymore. You know, I was a bartender for a very long time. I'm not trying to do rooftops and spend my nights where I used to work. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> I will ask this. Before uh, she said those things, were you feeling, Jasmine? Was that was she your type? I, there was always a possibility. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. I might have started throwing that question around because I think that's interesting, but you're good. Okay, thank you, Sean Paul. Uh, we don't have any other red flags pulled yet. Do you have anything else that you're looking for in a man or are we ready to... I like uh, someone who works out, um, who has like, you know, a spiritual side. I'm all about self-care, meditating and all that. So that's what I like. Okay, I did have two red flags on. Let's start right here. Name, age, and why you're waving the red flag. Um, hi, my name's Joshua. I'm 23. And for me, it was just like the meditating thing, self-care. Um, I agree for sure. You definitely have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, can I ask you, like, how often do you do that? Is so, like every day? Um, no, I don't do it every day. I feel like I should. I used to do it every day, but I want to start doing it, like, in the mornings when I wake up. And usually, like at night before I fall asleep. Why don't you meditate? I'm just curious. Um, I just feel like there's not enough time. There, there's so much going on in the world. Like, stuff is always happening outside, especially here in LA. Like, if I just don't like to just stay put, I'm always on the go. Um, so that's like my biggest thing. I just don't have time to. Okay. To do it. I mean, you know, we're all busy people. I kind of see why you say that. But I feel like when you wake up in the mornings, you should at least like be grateful for life. You know, you don't necessarily have to spend like 30 minutes with frequencies or, and all that or positive affirmations, whatever, how people meditate. But it's like you wake up. It's like, wow, I'm alive. I'm grateful for everything. And when you're asleep, it's like today was a good day. Whether it was a bad day, you still, like, there were lessons learned, and you can even meditate, like, with that, you know, just, like, reflecting. That's that's what I'm about. Did, so. that, did that change your mind, that meditation um, speech? Whatever, you know? No, I mean, I feel like, for me, it doesn't, like, I don't have to think about that. I just, I'm always, like, in a good mood. I mean, so I agree with you, like, 100%. Okay. okay. Um, so, I, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> that's okay. That's All right. Fine. But thank you for sharing that, Jasmine. Now, Brett, you also, oh, would you share your name, your age, and why you waved? I'm Brett, I'm 33, and the reason that I wave my flag is because I'm not really a spiritual person, so I just don't feel like I okay. feel able to bring that into relationship, but I do think that balance and everything is extremely important. I don't do traditional meditation, but like martial arts is my way of oh, doing okay. that, so I do totally agree with that aspect, it's just I'm not that spiritual. It's all good, it's not for everybody. Are you religious? Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. To each their own. 
Yes, absolutely. But you still have some that are must be feeling you because they haven't pulled the red flag yet. So I want to throw it to the gentlemen that have not thrown a red flag. Do you have an essential question to ask Jasmine to maybe determine whether you want to throw a red flag or maybe she will? Any question, any essential? Yes. Uh, name, you, age, and oh, oh, okay. Vince first. Okay. Name, age, and your question. So, hi, my name is Vince. I'm 29, engineer. Uh, are you pro life or pro choice? Pro choice. Mmm. All right. Why are you waving? Because uh, I am pro life. Okay. But God bless anyway, and thank you for coming on. Awesome. Okay. Hold on to your red flag. Hold on to your red flag. Okay. Now, Devin, you had a question. Name, age, and your question. Uh, my name is Devin Henry. I'm 25. Uh, my question is, you mentioned that you don't want to be held a prisoner by your significant other. Um, is it the same way on the other end? So if I wanted to go out with my friends, would you have a problem with that? I wouldn't. I mean, it just depends on like what you do with your friends. You know, like if you go to the strip club, Hey, at least take me. So I'm, <laughs> I, want, I want to feel like I'm him too. I, hey, I, I, I appreciate that. I'm a raver. Does that uh, does that oh, okay. coincide there too? As I well? mean, I've, I've been to a rave like maybe two times, okay. and it was pretty fun. Yeah. But to be honest, I mean, <laughs> whoa, this is too much for me. The music, the lights. I was just like, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Yeah, it's not for everybody. Huh? It's, it's not for everybody. It's not. Yeah. So I was like, I don't really want to rave again. Yeah. So you pulled the red flag. Why are you pulling the red flag? I'm, I'm a raver. I'm a hardcore raver. With those kind of substances? No, of course not. Looks in camera. Um, <laughs> please, please edit that okay. out. No, but it's, uh, it's, it's the music. I love the music, you know, no matter what. Um, and it's if someone can't appreciate that or understand it, then... Uh, I, I, I can't do it, you know? It's all good. Everyone has different styles yeah. of what they want. I also don't like the beach. You said the beach earlier, and I was trying to oh. put that aside, but I hate the beach. Oh, he tried to look past oh, it. That's I love thing. water. That's now, real. Rich, you also, can you uh, grab your mic and share your name, your age, and why you're waving? Hi, my name is Rish. I'm 33 years of age. And the reason I put the red flag was just not feeling the vibe. Everything else is great about you. It's all good. Yeah. All right. All right. Very valid. Okay. We still have two that have not thrown red flags it looks like oh so we need to remove one we only have one can you share your name your age and do you have a question for jasmine i do my name is christian i'm 33 um like what my man said over here it does seem like a lot of your priorities lie outside of the house wanting to hang out with friends i'm at the point in my life where if someone has a lot of friends they're not doing their their their, their mindset's in the wrong direction <laughs> right so um, you said you were how old? 26. 26. So uh, how how long do you think that that's going to kind of continue on in your life? Do you plan on partying for a long time? Like when do you, when do you plan on pivoting and then bring the priorities more home? So, so like hanging out with friends doesn't necessarily mean going out to parties. Um, it's like, I think you're like us as humans we crave social interactions so that doesn't necessarily mean being outside on the weekends like i like going to rooftop dinners i like going to rooftop pools when i met rooftops like i like to actually go tan you know relax um i do that by myself and sometimes if i like have people that want to hang out we'll go get drinks and things like that but um i hope like i never stop enjoying my life and doing fun things like that so there was a point where I was just staying home all the time, and it's like, okay, how much longer am I going to stay at the wall and reflect on my day? Like, I want to go do something. So, yeah, that's how I see it. Okay. Do you have another question, Christian, or do you... Are do you, you have kids? Sorry? Do you have kids? No. Do you have patients? I do, but that's why I don't want kids. Mm. There it is. Oh, so tell us why you're waving your red flag. So I'm waving the red flag because I am a father and my son is autistic. So he oh. requires an extra amount of patience, an okay. extra amount of care. And if you're already going into the idea of I don't want kids, my son's the one thing I can't compromise on. Of course, I get I, it. I do like everything about you, though. The voice, the stance, the body, the, oh, eye, the hair. It's all good. It's everything. But now it's, it's just the giant with him sharing that information jasmine could could you have the patience to you're not you wouldn't compromise would it you, how would you handle 
his son. I mean, you don't know much about him, but from yeah. what he just shared. No, like I love kids, but I don't want my own kids, you know, because I know like my like I'm, so I'm Mexican, so I raise like 30 of my cousins right, yeah, <laughs> and my mom has a daycare. Wow. So I like still, you know, like I would help her out with the daycare and it's like, I don't want to change diapers. <laughs> I don't want to smell this anymore. <laughs> like, I just want to like I enjoy kids. And then it's like you can go back to your parents because. No, that, I want to relax. Oh, I understand that completely. So uh, that that kind of comes with the territory of having a child. I wouldn't want to date a woman with a child and be like, "That's your kid, not mine." Like, mm -hmm. I feel it. To, I feel it though. You want like a family, right? I do want. Yeah. yeah. I tried because you were I feeling no, everything else. I, I respect it. I tried. I tried. Well, it looks like all of our red flags have been taken, but you are a real one, Jasmine. So can oh, we clap it up you. for this oh, real one, please? So can we clap it up? Thank That's you. Uh, thank you, everybody. I will take your mic. You can head out that way, but we sure do appreciate you for coming out, Jasmine. Thank you. Clap it up one more time for her as she exits. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome.